dear people of God. I welcome you all to St. Bartholomew Catholic Church, Trempeleau. Now our CCD children are presenting to you the way of the cross. The way of the cross is a wonderful practice to meditate on the suffering of Jesus. As we meditate on the suffering of Jesus and unite our suffering with, the, with his suffering, it's easy for us to get healed of our own inner wounds. Our CCD children has taken wonderful effort to present to us the way of the cross. So appreciating their efforts, let us take part in this way of the cross and let us receive the blessing of Jesus. We well, welcome you to the, to the way, way of the cross. cross. Way of the cross. The Stations of the Cross reminds us of the passion of Jesus. The celebration of the Stations of the Cross is common on Fridays of Lent, especially Good Friday. They are the short version of the Station of the Cross. We can meditate on these stations during our free time whenever we are, be it at office, school, or home. These situations will help us to remember Jesus and his passion during the Lenten season and minus our busy schedules. As we read each station, let us picture as Jesus and his agony in our minds. As we meditate on each station for a while, let us surrender our lives to Jesus. All our burdens, our sorrows, the crosses we carry, and more importantly, our sins. The way of the cross will help us to relate our lives to the sufferings of Jesus. First station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by the, the holy cross, you have redeemed the world. We have made been condemned, condemned by others for, for no fault of ours. We may have been hurt, we may have been unwanted and lonely in this world, we may have been burdened for others. Let us give all those painful moments over to the Lord. Meditation. Lord Jesus, often I judge others and fail to understand or loving. Help me to see the people in my life through your eyes, not the eyes of conscious pilot. Second station. Jesus carries the cross. We we adore you, O Christ, we and we bless you. Because by thy holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us remember the times when he had to carry our cross in the in the from form. form of sin. Sickness, pain, worry, despair, despair, loneliness, guilt, loss of loved ones, financial problems, and so on. As Jesus bore, bore the cross with patience, let us be patient with our cross and look forward toward get greater, greater glory. Meditation. Meditation. Lord Jesus, you embraced your cross to redeem the world. Help me to embrace the crosses in life, the hardships, struggles, disappointments, and pain. Only by recognizing my own weakness can I discover your strength. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by thy holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Let us remember the first time when we gave into temptation and sin. We fell into sin and moved away from God. Let us repent and ask Jesus for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you know how often I fall trying to follow you, yet you are always there to lift me up. Help me always to trust in your loving care for me. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by thy holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us remember our Heavenly Mother who gave birth to Jesus Christ. 
and raised him on this earth. She raised him to sacrifice for our sins. She loves us and sees in us his son. Lord Jesus, your mother's Mary's grief was surpassed by her love for you. So often you come to me and others, and their love gives me new life. Help me to see how often you love me through the people in my life. The fifth station. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by the holy cross you have redeemed the world. When we were burdened with our cross, when the cross was too heavy for us to carry, Jesus would have sent someone into our lives to help us carry the cross. It may have been your spouse, your children, your friends, or even a stranger. Jesus would never abandon us. Lord Jesus, sometimes I am indifferent to the needs of others in my life. I even neglect those whom I love. Help me to see that loving others is the surest way to find, find you in my life. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by that holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us remember our family members and friends who were there with us to comfort us during the most painful times of our life. Let us pray for them for all the times they comforted us and brought back faith to our lives. Lord Jesus, at times I am afraid to reach out to others. I do nothing when I should act. I say nothing when I should speak out. Give me a deeper and more courageous faith. Help me to trust that you are with me. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by thy holy cross you have redeemed the world. We often feel sorry and repent for our sins. We again fall into temptation and then forget everything pretty soon. We go back for our sinful lives, falling into even more greater sins. Let us strive not to keep committing the same sins over and over. Lord Jesus, failure and disappointment sometimes lead me to despair. I hide behind my pride and self-pity, withdrawing from you and others. Give me the hope I need and help me never to be afraid to begin again. The Eighth Station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by thy holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us be compassionate and merciful to the people around us. Let us open our eyes to the people suffering in this world. As Jesus comforted the women of Jerusalem, let us have mercy on those in distress. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, your great compassion for others overwhelms me. I feel pity and selfish when I think of you and the way you love. Help me to pour out my love, that you might fill me with your love. Ninth Station Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by the holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let this be the last time we sin. Let us make our hearts strong and pray to Jesus for the strength to fight the temptation of Satan. Let us become closer to God during this Lenten season through fasting, prayer, and almsgiving. Lord Jesus, your failing strength makes me see how helpless I am. Without you, I can do nothing. Help me to rely on your strength to see how much I need you. Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by thy holy cross you have redeemed the world. When Jesus was stripped of his clothes, he was ashamed and hurt, but he bore everything for our sins. Let us invite Jesus to heal our wounds and surrender all painful moments of our lives to him. Lord Jesus, seeing you so cruelly humiliated makes me realize how I cling to my accomplishments, my possessions, my way. Help me to let go of those things in my life that prevent me from going closer to you and others. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because of thy holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Let us give up our sinful life. Let all our sins be nailed to the cross, that we can live a new life in Jesus. 
as Jesus endured unbearable pain while being nailed to the cross, let us bear our sorrows with patience and hold on to life. Lord For Jesus, I can I never doubt your great love for me. I see you crucified. Help me see your cross as great a sign as your love for me. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because, because by our holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Let the sinful man in us die along with Jesus. Let us resolve it to never sin again and avoid all temptation. Lord Jesus, your broken and lifeless body calls me to dear faith. You chose death, even death on the cross. Help me to see my cross as a way of loving you. The thirteenth station. The body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by thy holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, you died for our sins and purchased for us the reward of eternal life. Let us always keep that in our minds and live this life with hope. Lord Jesus, seeing your body taken from the cross reminds me how fearful I am of letting go of my own life. I am frightened when I think of being unimportant, useless, and helpless. Help me to place my life in your hands. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by thy holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us look forward to the eternal life that Jesus has offered us by giving his own life as ransom. Let us pray to Jesus for the grace of a happy death. Lord Jesus, when I see the gray stone sealing your tomb, I feel alone and abandoned. Even though you sometimes seem distant or absent in my life, help me always to believe in your closeness and loving presence. 